<laughs> there we go. Hi, you guys. We are so excited to be here. I'm April Beach, and this is my friend Elizabeth McFadden. We'll introduce ourselves here in just a second. But this is our first LinkedIn Live co-broadcast under our new show, Scale with Strategy. And it's actually not quite so new. However, we've been hosting this show, these strategy sessions on Clubhouse every single week for over a year now. Um, so we are, we are so excited to be bringing this here to you guys on LinkedIn every single week. And I have to admit, we're, we're just playing with the technology here just a little bit. So if you see some technical glitches from us, uh, we're newbies here. Um, let, me, let me turn it over to my, my friend Elizabeth. Hey there. Sorry. I'm like watching the LinkedIn live, but it's like a little bit behind. <laughs> um, okay. Hi, everybody. My name is Elizabeth McFadden, and I'm the CEO and Director of Brand Strategy here at Novella Brand House. We are a branding-focused, full-surface ad agency, and we're based in Kansas City, Missouri. Um, April and I have been working together for a very long time. We have a lot of fun, and so we've been, as she said, we've been doing this show on Clubhouse and a number of you have asked, like, when are you going to be in LinkedIn? Like, when are you going to take this off of Clubhouse? And like, where else can we find you? And all those kinds of things. And so we finally got our act together and figured out all the tech. <laughs> and here we are. So I'm sure we're kind of bumbling through things a little bit tech wise today. But um, anyway, we're excited. So each week we have we start the conversation in Clubhouse and then we bring it here and um, really the idea behind this is that, you know, you walk away with valuable information, with tips, with some strategies to scale your business. Um, and these are literally tips and strategies that you can start implementing, you know, this week, this month, or this quarter, um, you know, small and large. So, um, so I'm, today we were talking in Clubhouse, um, April was leading the discussion and she's going to pick it back up here um, about when do you know when you should hire a business coach? And I, I started off that conversation with saying, you know, I didn't realize, I mean, I've been a business owner for 16 years and to be honest, I didn't realize until maybe the last year or two, like how many people have worked or do work with a business coach of some sort. And um, I was really floored by that. And I mean, I totally see the value and, and I have worked with April. Um, she has helped us, um, she's been our business coach um, on our um, sort of our online business Novella University. And um, so I, I, again, I understand the value, but um, you know, like, where do you, how do you start? So. April, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it back to you. Yeah, go, yeah, we're so excited to be talking on LinkedIn Live over here. <laughs> we're so excited to be talking to you guys. I just figured out how to mute my mic, like when you were talking, and then I dropped it all over the ground. You know what I mean? Because it's different than my podcast room setup. Because uh, when I'm podcasting, guys, I'm you know usually in my jammies. Let's just be honest. <laughs> Uh, so we're, we're super excited to be here with you guys. My name is April Beach. I am the founder of The Sweet Life Company, and we help companies, actually experts, thought leaders, consultants, coaches, and niche service-based businesses like Novella Brand House scale online beyond a million dollars. And we do that through engineering, uh, online offers and strategies and custom business models. And, and I've been doing that for now coaching businesses for 26 years. And so uh, Elizabeth and I um, have been working with businesses and helping them grow and scale for a really long time. And I'm also a client of Novella's. Our logo here in the upper right hand corner, Novella, Novella Brand House did that and, and, and they take care of our brand strategy for us. And so it's a great relationship and we're super excited to be talking to you guys here. Um, and we will be here every single Wednesday morning on LinkedIn Live. We're committed to be here with you guys. But like Elizabeth said, it's going to be in and out, right? So we want to deliver you high value, short time. That's what that's what we're doing here. So there's going to be a specific niche strategy or consulting or you know coaching topic that we're going to rotate bringing every single week to you guys, so you can get this information and really look at it and either start implementing it right away or put it into a parking lot because you're going to clearly be able to see if you do or if you don't maybe need to implement this strategy. And so we're really interested in this high value short time and connecting with you guys, getting to know you guys more. And so thank you, thank you 
you so much for being here and being with us as we fumble through the back end of, of the technology for the very, very first time and kids walking out the door for their last week of school and, and just all the things sometimes that, <laughs> that, that we deal with here. And so um, for today, carrying over the conversation that we did have on Clubhouse this morning, we, we actually had a great talk about how to know when you're ready for a private business coach. And so I want to dive in and share with you guys some of the strategies that I gave to the leaders in Clubhouse this morning. So you can think about this for yourself as well. <clears throat> and then Obviously, I'm super curious about any questions you have about this. We actually have a tool that in my learning of LinkedIn technology, I did not drop yet in the event link, but I will drop that in the event link for you guys. You can download it and it's actually 26 business coach interview questions. And you'll be surprised that some of these questions are not the typical questions like how much do you charge and how do we work together? There are some deeper questions that I think are important for all of us like as leaders hire somebody to lead us some of the questions that we ask would be different than than others may ask in that position and so i just want to make sure that you're engaging in a relationship that is is really the right one for what you what you want to do so one of the things we talked about and what i want to chat a little bit about here today is really what is the difference between a coach and a consultant and a mentor now if you google these things it's still kind of a gray and, and fuzzy area. So I want to share with you how I break them down, how I define them. And as a business coach, this is how I see these different um, roles to help you determine if you are in this place where you need to grow or you need to press through you know, a barrier that you may be having in your business. What type of person, leader, individual do you need to get you to the next level? And so I use the word coach loosely. And that can apply to consultant or strategy as well, just in this case. So a coach, I want you guys to think about it as somebody who leads you along to continue to encourage you to get great results. So I immediately think of my kids that play sports, right? Their coach helps them, gives them, you know, tools, but also helps to encourage them to keep moving along. A coach is usually somebody that you would have a longer term relationship with, or it's more than just like a, a one time shot in the dark, you know, hour together. And it's somebody that really is going to encourage you to continue to grow, help you troubleshoot problems as they come along. And it's somebody that it engages with you on a continual basis. That is typically what a coach is. A coach, and this is obviously obvious, obviously obvious. Everybody in here knows this. Just make sure that you're hiring a very well vet, vetted coach with established expertise. There's a lot of people out there calling themselves coaches. And the only thing they're doing is copying what somebody else told them to do, who copied somebody else, who copied somebody else. The business coaching world is, it's like dangerous with almost something that feels a little bit like MLM starting. So I do want to say that I want you to be careful for that, but we're not even getting into that. Just the, the direction that a coach will bring you is more of that ongoing. Whereas a consultant is somebody that has a very great specific skill set and that can come in and help look at your problems and help give you strategy to, uh, to get past that benchmark, get past that barrier, you know, look at what's specifically happening in your business and actually consult you on how to navigate through that. But they might or might not be hanging out with you for the next six months as you do it. All right. So that's the, that is the second differentiator between, between usually an ongoing coach and a consultant. And whereas a mentor is somebody who has been where you want to go. So they're slightly ahead of you or more ahead of you in business or whatever area you want to grow in. And that mentor can say, hey, you know what? This is how I dealt with that. These are some of the things that we did and really, truly guide you through that sort of level. Uh, and usually there's somebody who's older than you, but it doesn't have to be that. Um, whereas a coach or a consultant, especially a consultant, if they have a very specific skill set, that they're giving you strategies in order to execute in your business, they may not be ahead of you in business, but they're really, really good at what they do where they are. 
Whereas a mentor is somebody who um, really their, their business looks the way you want yours to look, or they have gone through and they've navigated some of the waters that you plan to be sailing through over the next period of time. And you can, of course, uh, find a, a coach, a consultant, and a mentor. I am all three. So for our clients, I serve as a consultant and a strategist, as a coach, and as a mentor. You'll find that there are some coaches that only want to coach, and it doesn't include the strategy. Or there are some strategists or consultants that want to give you the strategy and that they are willing to also coach you. But the reason why we talked about this earlier in Clubhouse, and I think it's an important conversation to have, because again, as leaders, when we're looking for somebody to lead us, how they do that, in my opinion, is just as important as where they're actually leading us through. How they work with you needs to work with the way that you expect. And the biggest problem that we see is that when people buy help from somebody and they have mismanaged expectations. So when you show up, if you are considering hiring private business leadership, I really in this space, I just want to encourage you guys that that's the conversation that I want you to have. So, you know, do you do you act more as a coach? Are you more of a strategist and a consultant? Will you mentor me as well? And there is no right or wrong way. It's totally up to what you need as a leader. And it's up to, you know, obviously how that how that strategist um, delivers results in in their scope and how they prefer working with you. So those are some things we chatted about today. I hope you find that um, beneficial as well. Liz, you want to add to that? Yeah, I'm just going to give some some kind of takeaways. Um for everybody i think first of all i love the diff the you know how you you showed the difference between those three and you're going to need a mentor you're going to need a coach you're going to need a consultant um for, for 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 various things and at various points in your in your journey as a as a business owner and uh, one of the things that you mentioned in clubhouse that i think is really important is that you know you said um for a lot of people you know when they're you know, getting to like 10,000 a month in revenue, um, you know, that's one thing. But then when they make that jump to like 25, 35, 50,000 in revenue a month, it's a whole different set of issues or things or problems or even honestly strategy at that point too of running a business. It's, I mean, owning a business is like playing a game. And um, I've seen, I think it's, is it Simon Sinek? Yeah. Uh, he talks about that. And then um, I was listening to a podcast or I was listening to how I built this. Um, the woman that started title nine um, and she was like a college athlete. And I mean, she said the same thing. It's, she's like, it's like playing a game, you know, there's strategy involved. And so it's just a different level of the game when you're at that 25 to 50,000 in revenue a month, you know, it's different strategies. And so for a lot of people, that's when, you know, a lot of business owners, that's when they need to, um, you know, engage with a coach or a consultant. And anyway, I love how you just broke that down because it really, you're, you need different things for different phases and, and such. Um, I also liked how you, how we were talking about in clubhouse, you said, look, you know, especially if you're hiring a coach, the best thing you can do is probably try to, you've like worked whatever you're hiring this coach for. And that was your thing you said, be very clear about why you are hiring a coach. It shouldn't just be, well, I want to better my business. Well, yeah, we all want to do that. I mean, that's not, <laughs> that's not enough. It has to be like you, it's very specific what you're looking for. And so, um, and the best thing you can do is to have tried to try to work through that. And you're like probably hitting a wall of some sort or you're falling short or it's just not enough, whatever. And you're like, okay, I've tried to do this. I'm understanding where I'm stumbling. And now I need to bring, I need a, to engage with a coach to help me <clears throat> get that to that next level. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I think that that was so good to point out because so much of the time people think, you know, oh, this is what I need to do next. And I'm just going to hire a coach. And, um, you know, I, I, how do you, you almost don't know what you don't know. Right. Right, right, right. Um, and what we were talking about, and, and I, I think this is, I think this is really important. So when we hire somebody to consult us, we need to take ownership of, there's still our decisions, 
right? <laughs> there are just, there are decisions, you know, we're grownups. We need to make these decisions. And when somebody comes in and consults us or give us a strategy, we need to take ownership of those decisions. And I feel like it's best. And I've experienced this with my clients as well. The clients that have tried at least on their own to educate themselves and work through problems. And they've they've dove into it a bit. And so they have that um, understanding of a, a little bit of education, at least those clients get faster results. Whereas a client that didn't even try and they're just like, Hey, forget it. I don't even care. I just want you to hire, you know, I want to hire you to help me do this. Um, can we do that? Yes, of course. You know, people pay us for speed, but it's the businesses that have an educational um, foundation in what we're doing that take ownership faster. And the faster that somebody takes ownership of their own strategic decisions in their business, um, the, the faster results that they're going to get in that. Sometimes there's a lag time when you consult a business that really just frankly has no clue um, where you'll give them the strategies and the recommendations and start working with them in the process. And they have to go through their own their own then period of time to start looking into it, start doing it. And actually, it just it really stretches out the results they're going to get. So I just am an advocate before I hire any mentor or any strategist to work with us. I've already looked into that. I, I've listened to the, uh, the podcast. I've listened to the audible books. You know, I've read things. I've tried to delegate it within our own teams already. Um, and I, I'm just, I am an advocate for that. And I think frankly, it gives us faster results when we have an, or an area of understanding at least. Um, and then also how are we then going to know what done looks like? So as business owners, as entrepreneurs, we take ownership of the done, right? And we we also, this is also an important point to make when you're interviewing for a business strategist or consultant, your version of what done looks like might be totally different than theirs. And so if you in your mind, you know, because every time we make an investment, we want it to be great investment. And, and, and a lot of times, you know, we have like this Disneyland when in fact, we're, you know, only building the Matterhorn, right? <laughs> with that, with that work, right? So you need to have that conversation with that strategist and say, hey, you know, what is that end result? What is that transformation of me working with you actually going to look like? Because, because in most cases, we as the buyer want to get all the way to Z. But that strategist or consultant based on their methodology may in fact only be able to get you to C or F. And so those are important conversations to have as well. And you can't actually have those conversations until at least you know what the heck you're talking about to some degree. Um, and then the other thing that you made, and, and I'll just land on this because I want to make sure we're respectful for our time in here, is um, yes. So as entrepreneurs, we rock at the creative stuff, right? Like we're starters. We're we're big picture thinkers. Think of Michael Gerber and the e -Bith. You know, we all usually operate really high in that entrepreneur section and then pretty great in the technician as well. But it's kind of that manager in the middle that, that natural entrepreneurs, we kind of struggle at. I totally struggle at that. I'm definitely weak in that area for sure. And so the strategies that get our service-based business is what I'm strictly talking, strictly a consultant strategist for service-based businesses here. So that's the, that what this refer, that is what this refers to. But when we use these strategies, what gets us to 30 K, you know, monthly reoccurring revenue is a different strategy than what we need to get to 50 and 60 K a month, because that, that creative, um, you know, hustle, the things that were happening in the beginning that we needed to do that, frankly, only you guys can see because you're the creatives, you're the genius, it's your IP, you're excited about it and you want to extract it from your brain and, and you can build it and you're going to make it happen because we're entrepreneurs, we make things happen. We, we, we turn, um, as my great friend JP O'Brien says, we turn thoughts into reality, right? That's what we do. Okay. Well now they're a reality and you're at 30 and 35 K a month. And it's like, okay, we're just going to hang out here. This is a reality, right? So the strategies that we need to get from 30 to 50 to 60 K a month and beyond into a million dollar service-based business, a coaching or consulting or a niche expert business, totally different strategies. And that's usually a great point when it's time to bring in a strategist that is an expert in those areas that we need to be great delegators and learn how to give up control. Um, entrepreneurs, we're control freaks. We like controlling things. It gives us, that's why we became entrepreneurs. Um, but those strategies, in fact, usually aren't the ones that, that we really need to, to double that and get us to the next level. So 
in landing and wrapping up here and our uh, scale with strategy, um, if you are looking for a private business co coach, just keep these things in mind. How much money are you making each month? How do you want that coach to actually engage with you and operate? Are they solving a specific problem for you? Um, uh, if you're looking for just the unicorn to come along, maybe try to find a mentor. Maybe if you aren't even sure what you need yet, find a, try to find a mentor who can look into your business, who's been there and give you some insight into that as well. Um, so with that being said, this was fun. I don't think we killed the tech. I mean, um, I'm looking. No, I think we're, <laughs> sorry, I can't get my earpiece in there. Um, no, we did it. Well, so what I realized that we forgot is that we should have pinned the link to your awesome worksheet that you shared in Clubhouse. Oh. Um, to the event. So noted, we'll do that next time. And, but how can people get that? So tell them what you shared in Clubhouse, that worksheet, because it was awesome. And how can they get that download? Oh yeah. So I'm here in StreamYard and it says, I can't post comments in LinkedIn. I'm going to come back in the event, you guys, and I will post the link to this. So it'll be in the comments here below this event after the event has ended. I did know to add that tool or any, we're always going to bring you guys some sort of a tool each week that you can use to implement right away. And so we'll add that to, to what we're talking about moving forward. Um, so I have 26 coach interview questions and it's actually just a two page worksheet. You guys can download and print. And when you are meeting with somebody that you're considering to guide and lead you, just go through and you can just jot down their answers right there. And yes, there are some very typical questions as far as pricing and payments and guarantees and those things. But there are some questions in there that I think are really important to ask. So as leaders, when we're hiring somebody to lead us, the questions that we ask are, are a little bit different than just really surface level for the end result and the transformation you guys expect. And those questions um, I have here in the coach interview question cheat sheet. It's like 26 coach interview questions. So I'll make sure that's in here for you guys. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. So if, if anybody has any other questions, you can hit April up directly here on LinkedIn and uh, we'll be back next week. We're talking, so I'll be leaving next week and we're talking about um, launching a successful brand. So I'm really excited about that. It'll be a good one. And all kind of through the lens of, you know, you're a scaling company or you're planning to scale and what that looks like. So, um, okay. We did it. We didn't kill it. <laughs> we didn't all kill right. It. Okay. okay. All right. Thanks Bye you guys. guys. Thanks for, if you watch this, will you like make a comment and say, Hey, I, I saw you guys because we're just testing this out and we would love to hear from you guys. Okay. All right. Bye for now guys. Take care. Bye, guys.